Welcome back to another video. For those who don't know, my name is Brittany C. I prefer if you just called me Brittany, honestly. Today's video, we're gonna do something different. Mm. We're gonna do something different today. I'm gonna do a get ready with me. Well, really like a makeup tutorial, I guess. I wanted to do something different. I feel like I'm always giving you guys the same content, even though that I'm new to the community. So I'm more than just vlogs and just going out to certain places and recording it. I wanted to get better at my makeup craft, skincare, and a little bit of food, I guess. So as I mentioned, ugh, I don't like this hair. So I went to Sephora and I did get matched with a really good foundation from NARS. So I wanted to play with that and see how it came out. Please let me know in the comments. Please let me know in the comments what you guys think. Your feedback is important because that lets me know, hey, this is what my audience likes. This is what they don't like. If you don't tell me, I really don't know. But um, yeah, just watch me do my makeup, I guess. It might be a little bit out of order. I'm watching a show and trying to focus, but I organized everything in front of me on my vanity, so I should be A-OK -okay and ready to go. If you like videos like this, please like, comment, and subscribe. I really do appreciate it. Other than that, let's get started. First thing that I always like doing is putting on my lip gloss and face mist. It's an essential and always a first step for me. I'm gonna go ahead and place on some translucent powder. This one is from Laura Mercier. I place this in specific parts of my face as well as all over my eyebrows. When I do this, it makes it so much easier for my eyebrows to stand out and look very more realistic. You'll see closer to the end exactly what I mean. I just feel like it makes it look so much better. A lot of drag queens do this and I kind of picked up that tip from them watching Ru RuPaul's Drag Race for, like, for years. So after this, I'm going to pretty much just make them the way how I like. And since they are, I'm going to fill in just the bottom line of my eyebrows using the Huda Beauty Concealer. I just feel like putting concealer on the top and bottom, it's giving Instagram eyebrows. And we don't do that no more. Baby, we elevated. To move on, I put on two different concealers on my eyelids as an eye base primer. One is from NARS, the other is from Maybelline. You Doing this, it's like it's an eyeshadow base to make your eyeshadow stand out way much better, way much stronger. That's another essential thing that I have to do. I've never changed up my routine. Now it's time for face. This is the foundation I said I got matched with at NARS and honestly, I don't know. I kind of doubted myself when I looked at it and then I said, Brittany, keep going. You can make anything work. So even though it looks like a completely different shade on camera, watch as I magically slay this. Like I kind of was self-doubting myself and yes, I got foundation in my hair. I was honestly self-doubting self myself because I'm thinking like, you know what? I don't think that this is gonna work, but I still tried anyway. And in my opinion, I actually do like this. This is in the shade Tahoe. I really do like NARS's consistency, and this is one of my first times actually purchasing their foundation. So ladies and gents, if you really need a good foundation, I actually recommend this one. This is my first time using it, and I am very, very much pleased. So as I place the concealer in certain parts of my face, I let that sit for a little bit and then I'm going to go ahead and contour my nose and the sides of my face using a darker shade. I'm not the best person, especially with contouring my nose, but I, I figure, you know what, I'm going to keep learning. I want to keep getting better at this and making it seem like, you know, my nose is smaller than really is. I really don't like the shape of my nose, but I try to fake it and make the best of it, honestly. So 
So after I blend everything with my beauty blender, I'm gonna go ahead and use my Real Techniques brush to blend out everything the way that I think is best. I use two different types of blending, using a sponge, then a brush. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that, like I said, everything is blended to perfection. Then we're gonna go ahead and use that same powder, translucent powder that I use on my eyebrows. I'm gonna go ahead and use it underneath my eyelids, around my brows, my nose, my chin, everywhere. Like, I really don't play. After putting on all that translucent powder, I'm gonna go ahead and use my face powder. This is my Maybelline Fit Me Powder. I'm new to it. I placed this everywhere that I did not put the translucent powder, so that's why it looks like more of my skin. Again, shade 310. I'm actually loving it, to be honest with you. It came out really, really nice. I didn't show the actual contour and bronzing powder that I use, but it will be listed just in case if anybody wants to know. Now that it's time for blush, I'm gonna go ahead and mix a few shades just to create something really, really realistic. I made this palette with MAC, it's like a pro palette. Anyone can do it. You just buy the actual like inserts, you buy everything and you can create your own palette. I just put on a little bit and now I'm gonna go ahead and use more of my contouring shade to define my nose a little bit. Blending it out, a little bit of that darker shade got lost when I blended it. So I'm making sure that I put a little bit more on with powder so it stands out a little bit more. We're gonna go ahead and use several highlighters. This is one of my favorites, it's from e.l.f. I use all of the shades in there, swirl it around, and I just kind of pop it on certain places of my face, I guess. Let's bring you guys in a little bit closer. It's time for eyes. In the video, it shows that I used two palettes. I really only ended up using the Huda Beauty palette. I'm not sure why, I was just freestyling. So before I set my face completely, I go ahead and use that Urban Decay D Slick setting spray. And now we're really about to make a look. I use one of the shades from MAC to define my crease just a little bit, but then later on I figure, you know what, I don't like this palette, let me switch it up. So you'll see that I kind of didn't have a concept when creating this look. I never ever do whenever I do my makeup, honestly. My friends will tell you I really don't actually have any idea when I'm doing my makeup. I just put some colors together and like, all right, we're gonna wing it. So watch me just make up any type of makeup look. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. No Right after I put on my eyeliner, we're gonna go right into putting on two different mascaras. That's right, two different ones. This first one was from Anastasia. I got this like as a gift and I like it, but my favorite, my girl, my jam is this one from MAC, the Giga Black one. It was so perfect on my eyelashes. We're going to just touch up the brows that might have got lost when I put on all those powders and everything. We're just gonna touch them up ever so slightly with the same pencil I used earlier. Um, I just don't know. It's just one of those routines I have to do. 
I set them with the same Anastasia clear gel, I believe that's what it is. And it just makes my brows look really more realistic. Now, when it comes down to putting white in the eyeliner, I think I still have some old photos of me when I used to do this like 12 years ago, 10 years ago. This used to be my jam always doing that. I just don't know, but I felt like, you know what? This is the look. Let's just spice it up and do something different. When it came down to these lashes, I'm not gonna lie to you. I had to take so many different takes on actually getting the lashes on for some odd reason. It just wasn't staying. I know all about lashes. I actually used to sell them. I have no idea why these weren't, but I still made them work. One thing that I always learn, especially when doing makeup, you always have to make sure that you stand out your eyes a little bit. So I'm gonna just take some of those shades and put that right underneath my waterline. So that's why my eyes stand out just a bit more to give this look a more feminine and really girly look. I don't know, I just feel like it just makes it so much better. And even like looking at it now, like, ooh, bitch, look. Look at you. Like, you look so pretty, period, baby, period. Probably for maybe five or six years now, I always do the same lip combo. I always put on a brown lip liner. I just think it looks way more realistic and flattering. We're gonna go ahead and take this limited edition lipstick from MAC. I can't remember off the top of my head what collection this was, but as always, all the products will be in the description. I think it came out very feminine, very cute, ready for Valentine's Day, really girly. What do you guys think? So this is the way how the look came out and I'm actually digging it. The only thing that bothered me after now reviewing the footage, my lashes were totally bothering me. Like I just hated the way how it didn't look seamless, but you know what? It is what it is. I still look pretty though. I'm gonna wrap this up. So before I go, I just wanna say thank you so much for watching this video if you made it to the end. I really do appreciate it. It means a lot to me. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Drop a like, a comment, and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. We keep it fun over here. Like, duh, why would you not want to follow me? Why would you not want to subscribe to my channel? Hello. I'm going to wrap up this video. Until then, guys, I'll see you next time. Bye.